you'll put the seeds you collect into your cup. And if you drop one, it's only going to go back where? Into nature. My name is Deb Colborn. I am a second grade teacher at Zimmerman Elementary School, and I'm a teacher who loves to teach inside and outside. So I work with my students in the classroom, and I also bring the classroom outside into nature. I became involved with the Sherburne National Wildlife Refuge in 2015 because I volunteered to be one of the teachers who would pilot that partnership. It's been a wonderful experience and I'm very grateful for it. When the students go to the refuge, first they get off the bus and they go in the moment and they're very quiet and they just look at the nature around them. After they're in the moment and they've calmed themselves, they go into the education building and um, they have a small lesson. Oftentimes, it's, we're just drawing questions from them, things that they, they might want to learn about and things they wonder about. Then the children are split into groups. They know what they're looking for, they know their purpose, and they go out into nature and explore. When they come back, we reflect on what they saw, things that excited them and things that they learned about. When we go to the refuge, um, the children have a bigger area to explore. Um, they, have, they have water to look at, we don't have water to look at. They have woods that are very, very quiet with trails and um, they have paths to walk. So they're walking through a prairie, they're going to a wetland, they're going into the woods, they're seeing many, many different types of nature and then finding signs in nature, becoming little explorers. There was one learning experience that stands out and I wasn't able to experience with the children because I wasn't with this particular group but David Ellis who helped us in the program in the very beginning he had a group of my students and the children um, got to see trumpeter swans and actually watch them go off into flight well the best part of it we were reading the trumpeter swan or the trumpet of the swan and so they were just humming and excited. They couldn't believe they actually saw a real swan and were reading about swans and everything that they learned at the refuge helped them apply to the literature that they were working in. I've, I've really learned so much in these last few years. And so then I'm able to bring that back to the school and back into our little oak savanna behind my classroom and share that knowledge with the students. So it's made my teaching richer and it's enhanced the education of the children. They, um, they love it, first of all, and so whenever you can have an opportunity to love what you're doing, you're more invested in it and you care more. So because my students love nature education, when they're journaling, they're writing and writing and writing and drawing and drawing, and I don't have to give any prompts and say, would you do a little bit more, whatever. Nothing like that at all. They um, enjoy it and it just naturally leads into better thinking and better use of their tools and their learning tools. I am very, very grateful um, to the friends of the Sherbur National Wildlife Refuge. They partner with us in the best way, they encourage us, and they support the children, and I don't know if they know how much we appreciate them, but I know myself and all of my peers are very grateful for the friends. So thank you for taking us on this journey with you.